All right, so once you're done with the, the UV map, um, something simple I like doing is I like grabbing it. So this is our leg. You can move those out. Um, this and this. Uh, here's our, our chest. So we're just going to rotate this 180 like so and grab that and something along the lines of that. Oh, wait, sorry back and chest don't work together. So this is my arm, my arm. So we're just going to grab these and get them out of the way so we have some space to work here. Uh, here's our chest and what we're going to do is make sure that it's the flipped UVs here. So what we're going to do is rotate and then rotate it up like so so that they fit close together and then we're gonna get them as close as possible here and then pretty close on the same wavelength there and then uh, those work and then my head is you always want to flip these because these are, are gonna be mirrored here um, grab this one and grab this one and get in there like so and same thing with this we're going to just grab this one and this is our back here and then this one is just going to be flipped again you should always flip all your your mirrored sides um, same thing goes for your arms and legs and hands so it's just Grab that one. I'm going to mirror that one. Grab that one. Let's mirror that or flip that one around. Uh, grab this hand and flip it. And grab this boot and flip it. And this one here. and flip it. Alright, so once that's all done and taken care of, um, we're just going to go here and I'm going to grab these right like so and we're just going to go in and uh, right click stitch selected and this is where we're going to stitch all these together. All right, and that way you don't get the, you don't have to try and make the seams work together. All right, and then let's go in here. And let's see how bad it's stretching real quick here. It's not so bad yet. Um, let's grab, let's grab these and, uh, I'm going to pause this for a second while I get a stitch button going on. Sorry about that. I apparently have a shift S going on here, supposedly, which is not working. I don't know why. So let's stitch select it here. So let's stitch. Actually, I don't know why I'm not just not used to the new interface. I could have uh, stitch the averages here. Oops. Yeah, like so. All right, and then let's just grab a let's 
section here. Now let's just relax this. Grab another section. And let's relax. And let's try grabbing this. Let's relax this once. This is why I like 1,000. All right, that looks good. And apply that, and that looks a little bit better. And that's pretty much all you're doing here is just relaxing this stuff together. And let's grab these real quick here. I missed my, my shortcut keys here. So let's stitch and go here. See all this going on here. Hold on a second, I'm gonna get us. Alright, let's see if this works. Oh yeah, so much better. So all I did was just assign a hotkey. And that makes just life a whole lot simpler. Alright. So as you can see, that looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna just go in here, select all. Let's just do a real quick relax. And that'll that'll take care of a lot of, of your issues. Now let's take this. And this is where I like going in here and just kind of lining this up. And there we go. Just a matter of going in. Stitching all this together. And I'm only going to stitch like so. And they usually only go up that far on the the face. And if you look at the face, the face looks pretty good. Um, got a little bit of a issue. Um, but otherwise, it doesn't look too bad. And then this, I have to figure out what's going on with this. But for the most part, that face is, is all together. And then what we can do is we can go Tools, Pack UVs, and uh, let's say re not ray scale. So, and then from there, let's take, and you always want more in your face. So I'm going to 
up my face a little bit. Let's try this again. Pack EVs. There we've got our head. And so on. Let's rotate. that. And let's bring this up a little bit. Bring the body up just a hair. Pack the clusters. Let's take off rotate. Oops. Pack EVs. And so on and so forth. So we can actually just go in and start scaling some of this stuff up. You know, sometimes you just want to go in and pack it all yourself. Let's see how you can get things working here. And again, it's just playing with your your options. And we'll say pack. And so there is your packed uh, um, packed map. And then we can go in and you know, give the hands a little bit, bit of scale up and move those up. And these are the feet. You, know, you can start, once you get one set in there, you can just start kind of manipulating the other sets. All right, and so once you're all packed in, you know, um, go here, grab these, and just scale these bigger. Grab the feet, move the feet over, and it's all about just getting it as big as possible. Or at least the this, this stuff that you need as big as possible. And you know, even, even just moving it up just a hair, like so. You know, take your priorities. So if the leg is a little bit smaller, let me just take off this so I can see what's overlapping. So let's see here, let's rotate this just a hair. And let's try and move this up. I mean, not the you know, I, I can I can probably tweak this a whole lot more. And like so. Maybe even stick. Stick the feet in so that they'll fit together like so. Move those in. You know, now I've got a little bit more space here. I can take those up. You know, and it's just a matter of your tweaking. So once you get that all done, um, make sure that everything looks okay. And uh, once that's all done, you're all set to take it in the mud box or another sculpture program. All right. Thanks much. I'll be doing another one in probably a couple days or a week.